News app. Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Francis Weller. We begin tonight with the latest on a developing story. A suspect is in custody after an attempted bank robbery. This happened at the Wells Fargo at Mayfair in Wilmington. Now video appears to show the moment the suspect was arrested. WECT's Emily Featherstone has been following this story all day and joins us now with new details. We just got into the newsroom just minutes ago. That's right, Fran. Wilmington police just identified the suspect's age. He's a 66 year old man. We don't have his name yet. Police say he took the money and then gave it back from that Wells Fargo and this all unfolded just before noon today. Police and state troopers were on the scene when we got there. They had the bank and part of the shopping center parking lot blocked off. The bomb squad was also on the scene. We're told the suspect was carrying a backpack and police treated that as a suspicious package until they could determine everything was safe. People at some of the nearby businesses and restaurants reported being told to shelter in place as police responded. And some video viewers submitted to us. You can see a man with his hands behind his head, but we don't have any additional details other than his age. I did catch up with Ricky Meeks. He was at the Chick-fil-A next door and saw officers approaching the bank with guns drawn. Yeah. Uh, I thought it did a wonderful job. I'm sure they practice any given time, whether it be a bank robbery or a hostage situation. But like I said, you just never know when something's going to happen. So Fran, as I was there at the scene, they were clearing it. They were interviewing some witnesses who were there both inside and outside the bank. So still a developing story. As we said just a few minutes ago, we're still getting details in this evening. And so we're going to keep working on, on updating that. This appears to be a very unusual robbery, as in the suspect, we are told, gave the money back. Yes, we just heard from Wilmington police that the suspect presented a note to the one teller at the Wells Fargo Bank, but then almost immediately went to another teller and gave the money back, asking that teller to call the police. So definitely that transpired really quickly. And then of course he had that backpack with him. They're telling us that they brought in the bomb squad just to check that out, um, but that was cleared as well. So no, no threat to the public there. Again, we don't know his name. We know he's no. 66 years old, but that's the only information we have. That's right. Him. And again, that just coming in just minutes before the newscast started. So we'll probably get some additional updates as the evening goes on. Uh, any any pending charges, we'll find out about that and we'll bring you the latest both here and of course on your WCT News app. You talked to Ricky Meeks and you saw the scene that mm -hmm. had to be pretty scary for the folks in the restaurant. Well, it was pretty busy. You know, it's the day after Christmas. Right. Lots of people um, maybe returning gifts like we were, we were talking about. So lots of people, you know, maybe trying to get to the bank if they weren't able to go yesterday. So a lot of confusion. But um, as Mr. Meek said, the police did have it quartered off so you couldn't really get to the scene um, out there. But definitely some some interesting developments just so far this afternoon. All right, Emily, thanks so much for that update.